Okay, hey, hey, this is Omega here. So this is an update vlog for my my stolen catalytic converter Prius uh, vlog. So so there there it is. Well, look at that. That looks like a second gen Prius catalytic converter, or well, the exhaust assembly. So this is what it looks like when it's not in the car, uh, when it's all out. So um, if you remember the last video. Um, what the thieves have done is they unbolted the cap right here, okay? And they cut the O2 sensor out, and then they cut right here. Boom. And then that uh, that pretty much uh, that pretty much uh, ends it right there. So um, that that's the part they took, just the part with the catalytic converter. So they don't want this. This isn't worth anything. So um, basically, the rest is just a bunch of piping. And, uh, and a resonator, okay? Um, so so how did you get this Hades Omega? Okay, well I'll tell you the story of how I got this. Well, uh, anyway, I'll tell you what this is. This is a uh, 2005 Toyota Prius uh, catalytic converter assembly uh, that has 120,000 miles on it. So pretty cool. Um, so um, it's, it is a Toyota one also. So it came out, it, it's a salvage unit, came out of the car. Um, so here's the story. I'll tell you how I got it. Um, okay, yeah. So every day, every day I've, uh, I've been looking up catalytic converter. Where can I get one? You know, where, where can I get, like I said, there was a couple options that I, I could have done. I got, one of them was to straight pipe it. Uh, one of them was to, uh, to get a federal, uh, a new federal catalytic converter, which like is kind of hard to get in California because they're illegal here. Um, but these two options are illegal, by the way. And this one is so, it's kind of an illegal. Or uh, buy a brand new uh, catalytic converter from Toyota, which is really expensive, like seventeen. That was the most expensive option. And then, and then the last, and then this option was to find a salvage OEM Toyota um, catalytic converter. So, and that's what we have here. Okay. I mean, there, you could also get one from a salvage yard, but they won't sell it to you because it's illegal. Um, uh, California won't let you do that because this is an emission controlled device. So they don't want people like putting in salvage cats in their car, even though it'll pass smog, you know, um, this is just really stupid, man. I really wish they would just sell them at salvage yards, you know, um, it would probably bring the cost of them down too, you know. Um, I'm sure there's like plenty of wrecked Priuses out there in the salvage yards, you know, with good catalytic converters. And then so, so they can't sell these. So, and, and there's a high demand for them right now. So the prices on these things are just skyrocketing, you know, they're just really hard to find. So that's the problem. So it's, it's very hard to find what they're very hard to find one of these, a used catalytic converter. Um, so I got this for a whopping $800. Okay. So it's it's there's still a lot of money, but it's also not as much money as seventeen hundred dollars. So, so I got away I got away without with pretty much paying half the price. Um, also, I did look in it, and it's in excellent shape. I'll, sh I'll show you in a second. We'll get a flashlight and we'll go look in there. You can see what the cat looks like here, and you'll find out. You'll see why the um, the thieves want to steal these. Okay. Uh, but of course, this only has 120,000 miles on it. It's a, it came from 2005 Prius. Um, that's like a year younger than mine, but it had 120,000 miles. So 120,000 miles is like nothing for a Prius, you know, um, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I got this for 800. Um, a new cat would have cost you would have cost you 1,700, and it probably is probably just going to be just the cat. This came with the oxygen sensor and the hangers and the bolts. Um, if they, if you lost the bolts, like uh, luckily Hades Omega was able to salvage the bolts. They left the bolts. So um, these are special. These are specific for this. Um, he gave me all four. He gave me the ones for the uh, exhaust flange, uh, the muffler flange, and then the for the catalytic converter flange right here. So, so I actually have like six bolts. So that's good. Um, I only really need. Uh, I only really need a uh, two because there's the two. My car still has the two in the back because they didn't cut that or they didn't unbolt it, 
and then there's the two from the front so i really only needed two and i and i was able to recover those so that's a good thing and i also got a catalytic uh, i also i got an oxygen sensor out of it so that's a good thing yeah so this is the this is the uh, downstream o2 sensor this is the one that they cut so um, this is the one that uh, tell, tells how efficient your cat is working now. The funny thing is it's only after the first cat, right? There's two. There's one here and there's one here. And this, So these are the codes that are on the, uh, the cat that the smog technician will be looking for. So here it has a little Toyota logo right here. And it says Golf Delta 3, GD3. Okay, and then there, here's another one. Um... There's a Toyota emblem right there, and it says Echo Alpha 6. Um, it's, it's interesting because you can really see, you can see the numbers on the cats. Um, the ones on the third gen Prius, I noticed, like, it, you have to really, really look for them. They were, like, up here on the sides. They're really hard to look. I don't think the smog technician's even going to look at it. Um, but chances are, if you have this on here, this is, this is a California, you know, compliant cat because it comes from Toyota directly okay all right well so there it is uh, so yeah that I I got the best this is the best option in my opinion if you got your cat stolen um, is to uh, oh I didn't even tell you about the story how I got it okay so anyway um, before we get into that um, so I was looking on the internet looking 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 every day and then this pops up on Facebook um, eight hundred dollars but it's in Fresno Fresno is about 150 miles from where I live, so I drive on. Uh, oh, I I um, I contact the person and I ask him like, hey, what did I ask him? Oh, I forgot what I asked. I asked if he still had it and uh, if I could come get it tomorrow. And then and then I was like, well, you know what? I can I can go there tonight and get it. So so I told him, hey, uh, if I can get some cash, um, I'll go there tonight and get it. So it, it was still like like in the afternoon or something. What was what is it that I did? Um, I got got some cash at the bank. I got the eight hundred dollars, and then uh, and then I took my mom's Prius. She has a third gen uh, 20, 2010 Toyota Prius, and uh, I I drove that all the way to Fresno to pick this up. It took it took about almost five hours. <laughs> it took almost five hours. I I pretty much I went there. I chatted with the dude for like maybe like twenty minutes. I took a look at it to make sure it was in good shape, uh, and then uh, and then I took off. So what he had told me um, was uh, he he bought another. He I think he has like he had like two Priuses or something, and I think this was from his third one. Um, he had bought a Prius just to take the battery from it. Um, he must have got it really cheap, um, but it had it had a battery. I guess it was a wrecked Prius, and someone was selling it for parts. And apparently it had the catalytic converter, but he didn't really need the catalytic converter, so that's why he sold it. Um, and uh, and he was pretty firm on the price. He didn't want to go down. He knew he pre he knew pretty much that like yeah man these are like gold right now man. So yeah I had no pro I had no uh, no I had no problems with the price because I knew how much this thing costs. It's it's more than seventeen hundred dollars um, if you add the tax to it and the, and all that stuff and like and you, the O2 sensor came with it. it this is a awesome deal this is an awesome deal this is about as good as you're gonna get it <laughs> um yeah so um so yeah he had bought that prius just to take the battery out so he can rebuild the battery pack in his prius i think he had the same prius as mine he had like a 2006 and it was the same color also <laughs> that was a cool thing um he also had like an h2 hummer in, the, in his driveway so uh, which is like it's funny because he has like one car that pollutes not a lot and he has a car that pollutes a whole lot so <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I wound up getting this for 800 bucks, um, no taxes, nothing like that. Um, you know, and, uh, and you know, the interesting thing about it is it's really light. It's really lightweight. It's, I can easily pick it up with one arm. Okay. And I can actually, we can actually weigh it right now. Let's weigh it. I got this scale right here. old sharper image luggage scale you could probably pick it up by the exhaust hanger here how much it weighs okay there we go it weighs 15 pounds 15 pounds can you believe it this long pipe 
weighs 15 pounds. It must be made out of titanium or something. I don't, I have no idea what it's made out of. Um, you can put a magnet on it. I'm thinking it should be made out of steel. <laughs> I just think it's made out of steel. It looks like it's in really good shape. It's just really dirty. Yeah, it's, it's made out of steel. The magnet attracts it. It's not made out of some fancy metal like titanium. I think titanium is like, is slightly magnetic or something. So, so all right, yeah, there it is. Um, so, so that is the uh, that is your best bet if you want to get like a, uh, you know, if you want to get a Toyota catalytic converter, and uh, but you don't want to pay like for a brand new one. Honestly, to get a brand new one for like a beaten up old car like mine, I, I don't think it would be even worth it. You know, um, this is the best option, um, and it's it's California compliant, so. The, um, the smog Nazis will not care, you know, they'll, 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 will pass it, you know, so that was the best, that was the best option. So, um, how, how can Hayes, what, what advice can Hayes and Mayer give you, um, is like, just do what, do what he did, shop, shop around, um, shop on Craigslist, shop on, um, on Facebook. So I found this on Facebook marketplace and, uh, and yeah, if you see one, just snatch it up as fast as you can. Um, because you know other people are looking for these every time I find one every time I find a, a, a Like a Prius parts car that someone is uh, parting out the catalytic converter is already taken. So um, It's really hard uh, So what's the legality of this? Well, technically you're not like I said the salvage yards are prohibited from selling catalytic converters Because if they're in a, it's it's an emissions control device. Okay, they don't want you they don't want you to replace it with like some, you know, used salvage uh, catalytic converter. And so there's a there there are laws, you know, that say like no, they can't sell that, you know, um, they can't sell it to the public type of thing. Um, I think they have to like destroy it or something, or or send it to like a uh, like a recycler or something. So um, so yeah, that's a bummer there because there there's a lot of these catalytic converters that are getting like thrown away you know when they're in perfectly good shape um, even if they have a lot of mileage uh, in my opinion like hey whatever blows out of the tailpipe and it's clean it doesn't matter you know and, and they don't even check the tailpipe on this uh, in California all they do is hook up a OBD2, OBD2 uh, scanner to it or like a like a dongle up to the computer and it reads all the diagnostic stuff and if, if nothing pops up then it passes. They don't run it on a roller. They don't put it. They don't run it on the roller slash dyno machine. You know, nothing like that. All they do is hook it up to the OBD2 check, and then that's it. If it says it's good, then it's good. If you've got no check engine, you're probably gonna pass. You know. Um, but they they are supposed to visually inspect everything on the car. Um, they're supposed to check. You know, if you got like a, a carbon canister. Um, they're supposed to check your fuel cap to see, you know, if it's in good working order. Um, stuff to do with the fuel system, okay? That's why I say, like, oh, you just get an electric car because you don't have anything. You don't have a fuel system. <laughs> so you don't have to have one of these. You don't have an exhaust. Um, but, yeah. So I was surprised at how light it was. And it bought it, by the way, it fits pretty good in the, in the 3G Prius. I just had to put it between the center console on the uh, passenger and driver side so and I put this um, this uh, moving blanket so it wouldn't make the interior dirty or anything it's, it's actually not that dirty it looks really rusty and stuff I, that looks like it's like mud or something from the road um, but it's in excellent shape so let's let's go check out uh, but yeah um, that that's your best bet find somebody that's parting a car that has a catalytic converter and they don't you know they don't want the catalytic converter they just want to sell it um, I would say I wouldn't. I would say like a thousand dollars. I mean, if you can get it cheaper than seventeen hundred dollars, that's cool, man. But I would say I would pay like a thousand dollars for one of these, you know. And I got it for eight hundred, so I think I got it below how much I thought it would be, you know. So I got a really good deal plus the O2 sensor, which is probably another like hundred dollars, and then the bolts, you know, which I didn't really need the bolts. But he said that you want the bolts, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll take the bolts. So. Just in case the bolts ever fall out or whatever, I lose them, I, I got spare. So maybe I can just sell the bolts, you know. 
some people might be missing them. So, so yeah, um, that that was cool that I was able to find that. Um, and that was the best outcome. Okay, uh, because like I was almost gonna pull the trigger. I was thinking about pulling the trigger on getting a, a brand new one, you know. And I was looking at the prices. I was like, man, it's it's seventeen sixty five, seventeen sixty five for a for a brand new one, man. I didn't want to buy a brand new one. So, um, and I also I checked my car. I have the little um, gasket donut. It's still on the car. So uh, basically, all I got to do is unbolt what's left of my exhaust system, and then just um, slap this up in there, bolt it on, and then and then uh, and then uh, plug in the O2 sensor. And then we should be good to go. All right. So uh, what what things have I done to uh, to help uh, thwart uh, the theft of this one here? Well, I bought this here. I bought a cat security. So if um, if if you guys have been following my channel, I installed a cat security um, cat catalytic converter shield on my mom's third gen Prius. Uh, I I, I, that's the one I actually drove the Fresno and it had it installed and I didn't have any problems with it at all so um, I didn't hear any rattling nothing you know the car ran fine so so I, I a I install it right and B it like you know it doesn't really affect the car all that much <laughs> um, yeah so I got this one for the same price it's hundred sixty dollars with free shipping but with the ta after taxes it's 174 so that's a whole total damage um, I did want to get um, so I've been watching uh, this dude, uh, Muffler Tech, this Muffler Tech dude uh, on on YouTube, and he's been he's been saying he works at like a uh, a muffler muffler shop in uh, in Sacramento, I think it's called Muffler Tech, and uh, they were having they had a video on like uh, you know different different levels of security, you know, and like level one is like to change the bolts, um, change the bolts to like a security bolt or something. Or watch it, man. You know what I would do is just put this on, then torque it down, and then grind the heads off of the bolts. <laughs> so, so you'll never be able to get it out. Yeah, that would suck, wouldn't it? That sounds like a good idea. Just put it on, get a grinder, and then grind the grind all the grind all the the hex parts out. So you'd have to like you know, you wouldn't be able to get get it out with the impact gun or regular socket. Um, but anyway. Um, this dude's name was Colby or something, and uh, he was saying like they put they install those a special bolt. It's basically it's the same bolt but with a different head, and it uses a special socket to take it out. So you can't just take it out with a regular what this looks like a a fourteen maybe fourteen or seventeen one of those um, fourteen millimeter socket. Uh, yeah, so so that's what that's that's what we we're saying. They were replacing these, but I cannot find any of those for sale anywhere, and uh, and you can't buy them. And, and I I emailed him, and he said they install them for ninety nine dollars. But I'm in like San Jose. I don't want to go all the way to Sacramento to get this special bolt and have pay pay for pay ninety nine dollars for them to install these special bolts on my catalytic converter. Um, I don't know why they can't just sell it, you know. And I can't find any other where that sells those. So um, so that's a no go, um, unfortunately. So. Uh, Colby's not really helping out the Prius community because <laughs> he's not selling these products to people. Uh, they they just wanna they, like maybe maybe they don't want other people to buy it so they don't get the the socket or something. I don't know. That's a that sounds like he's not he's not really helping out people. You know, so I decided we're not gonna go that route. The um the also the they said the level one security is uh they weld a rod. They weld a rod from like here to here. And then like here to here and here, all the gaps in between where someone would stick a saw and cut it, that prevents people from using that like kind of chain tool that that cuts through the pipe or like a pipe cutter. Um, it prevents people from using that. But a sawzall could still cut it, but it would take longer through to cut it. That's so the, I wanted to get that done. I called up a muffler shop and they're like, yeah, you know, the cat nobody's gonna steal your cat if you have a shield over it. So I was like, okay, man. Like I I swear, man. I called Muffler Shop, and I told them I want this done, and they're and they're he was trying to persuade me not to do it, you know, like he didn't want my business. I'm like, I I don't know, man. <laughs> so if I wanted something done, you know, 
Um, yeah, he tried. He tried his best to persuade me not to go that route, to, just to get one of these guys. So, so uh, that's what I'm going to be going with. I'm just going to be going with this. I may do that where uh, where I bolt this in, and then I'm just going to round off the round off the bolt, round the crap off of it. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Maybe just get a grinder and grind around it until like until it's no good anymore. You know. That would suck. I mean, I mean, we wouldn't be able to take it off anymore. But it would make it would make the it would make much harder for the thieves to to make away with it. Um, of course, they could still cut it right here, but it, it's it's really tucked up in there. There's I don't. It's going to be really hard to cut it right here. Um, and and then like you know maybe if they can't get this, they'll cut it right here. Then they'll cut it here and here and take this just this cat you know because there's two cats so they can't get. If they can't get both of them, they'll try to get one of them at least, you know. So, I, I, I'm just telling you, man. I'm trying, Hades Mega's trying to think like a thief, you know. That's what I would do. If I couldn't get one, if I can get two, I would get one then, you know. It's better than nothing. So, I don't know what to say, man. Uh, but the shield should cover everything going up to here. So, um, and, and like, yeah, and they, they won't be able to unbolt this. So, that's the easiest way to just unbolt this and pull it out. So it would take significantly longer to to cut through this and defeat it, you know. So you can cut get to this, you know. It would be like a lot more work than than not having the shield. So I'm hoping that'll do the trick until uh, and keep my my Prius safe from catalytic converter theft. Okay. Um, so there you go. That's my story on how I was able to. Uh, that, that's that's the continuing. That's a sequel to my uh, catalytic converter theft of log right there okay for my second gen prius um i found one for 800 bucks from a dude in fresno fresno from uh 2005 uh prius with 120,000 miles on it oh yeah yeah let's go check out um let's go check out the, the catalytic converter okay element. so let's go check out the catalytic converter element before we take off there it is as you can see it is in excellent, excellent shape. Yeah, it's in great shape. It's still white, you know, you can still see kind of through the, you can th see through all the honeycomb material. It's in great shape for 120,000 miles. All right, so hopefully I got a really good deal, you know, and everything is fine. For From what I can see, this part, it looks good. I don't know if this part is good, so, but I think it should be fine. I think I got a pretty good, I think I got a really good deal on this one. It's still a pretty fresh cat, so. Um, the cats really do go bad on these cars sometimes. Uh, I don't know why. Um, just old age and stuff, but. Um, mine was fine when, when it got stolen, so. 200,000 miles, but it's still, still good, you know. I don't know what it was like when they took it off because, well, obviously they took it off, you know, and I don't have it anymore to take a look at it, so. All right, so that's the end of the vlog. Um, so I will uh, I will have a video on when I install this guy, so if you guys want to see how what it's like to install a catalytic converter um, slash exhaust system because that's what it is. It's catalytic converter plus the exhaust system. It has a resonator and an extra pipe, cat back piping, um, or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cat back piping. This is a, this is the the pipe from the back of the cat to the muffler. Okay, so it's a pretty long piece. I'm surprised how light it is. So it's only 15 pounds. It was really light. Um, yeah, if it was like stainless steel or something, I bet it would be much heavier. So, but um, but it's in great shape. It just looks a little dirty, but hey, it's gonna be underneath the car. So. So yeah, check out that vlog when I install this. If you guys want to see how to install one of these, if you got if you get one of these and you want to install it yourself, um, I'll show you what's involved. It's actually really easy. You just four bolts and you just get it in there, and then you got to put the hanger up there. Um, and then uh, so I'm gonna try to knock. The plan is uh, I'm gonna try to knock this out all in one day. I want to install this, get the O2 sensor plugged in and everything, get the car running, maybe take it for a quick test drive, and then get it back up and the Get it back up in the air and install this cat security um, shield um, so so I get that all done in one day so I don't have to worry about somebody trying to steal this again so I definitely don't want to put this back on without having installed this okay um, it's got to go all on at the same time 
um, because uh, I guarantee you, man, if I put this in there and the, the you know, somebody will just steal it again. Um, I'm not going to take that chance, you know. It's, just, it's so hard to find one of these. All right. Thanks for watching. Check out those videos. Here's my gap. So I will have, I mean, I'll have the video on installing this if you want to see that. And I'll have a video installing the second gen version of the CAT security. Um, I also did buy a new uh, uh, rivet gun. I bought a about a Harbor Freight hydraulic or air hydraulic riveter. So uh, that should make it a that should make the job a lot easier because I was having trouble with the uh, with the hand uh, hand riveter because uh, there's not a lot of space to work underneath the car. This should make it a lot easier. I hope. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get our money's worth out of that. Um, I could use it for other projects and stuff. So. All right. Thanks for watching. Here's me out.